Happy, Happy Diz Giving! Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Alyssa. I'm Garrett. And we are the Leffersons, and we are in our kitchen today. Uh, I told you, we're taking you on a tour of our house. But we're in our kitchen for a very special reason. Alyssa, tell them why. Today is Diz Giving, and what that means is this is a collaboration between a ton of Disney YouTubers, and we are all putting out either a snack, appetizer, dessert, beverage, you name it, of our favorite or one of our favorites, holiday Disney treats. Forgot to mention, this is organized by Awesome Jossum, and we're gonna leave him and everybody else that's participating in this link down below as always. A lot of people are doing like Thanksgiving treats or Thanksgiving dishes, which totally makes sense in real life. We are doing something that you could eat on Thanksgiving. But you can also eat it any other time. <laughs> Whenever we think of Thanksgiving, we always think of like comfort food and things that are just gonna like make mm. us feel warm and cozy inside. Yeah. So we were trying to think of what we were going to create for you guys. And the only obvious solution, uh, we didn't wanna do chicken fingers because that's a lot of work. So the second choice was macaroni and cheese, but not, we're, guys, we're, we're not doing the craft. We're not, not just any macaroni and cheese. We're not doing the Velveeta. <laughs> what are we doing? This is going to be Chef Art Smith's homecoming mac and cheese. Homecoming. We went there last July and we tried out their mashed potatoes, their mac and cheese, their chicken, all of it. Our favorite thing from there was the mac and cheese. Yes. So, so good. So we found the recipe online and we're gonna try it out and hopefully it tastes as good as it does. And we are adding one special ingredient to ours, bacon. bacon. So it's going to be the mac and cheese plus the bacon on top. When you're at homecoming, you can always choose if you wanna like add bacon and other things mm -hmm. to your mac and cheese. So we are adding bacon to ours for today. <laughs> so enough talking, let's get to cooking. <laughs> so whenever it comes to cooking, obviously you need things to cook. So we went to the store and bought like 16 pounds of cheese <laughs> because this is mac and cheese. So instead of mac, we went with the shells because insider tip, the shells catch all of the cheesy goodness. Oh yeah, it's the best. And just holds it all together. <laughs> um, but then we got two kinds of cheese. We got, oh, actually three kinds. We got <laughs> extra sharp cheddar. You need two pounds of that. Two pounds. Got them. Also got two pounds of Colby cheese because, you know, you need more cheese. <laughs> and then to top it off, we have a Parmesan because <laughs> we, you have to. And Alyssa's like, can we just buy like the already shredded? I'm like, no, it's got to be fresh Parmesan. It does say freshly grated See? on the recipe. And Art knows his stuff. But of course, <laughs> an entire stick of butter. This entire thing's going in there, right? No, I think it's only half a stick. I'm going to do a full stick. <laughs> That's a lie. We also need like four cups of whole milk, not skim, not of that 1%, whole milk. Actually, there's a cow in here. <laughs> Moo. I, did you guys hear that? <laughs> Crazy. Um, but also there's some flour, there's some bacon. This is just a disclaimer that we are by no means a cooking channel. <laughs> we are definitely going to be going off the recipe and doing it step by step. So you guys are just going to tag along with us and do it step by step. So the first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So that's what we're gonna do first. We need to fill these wine glasses up first because we like to drink wine while we cook pasta. It just seems like the right thing to do, right? It's very Italian. <laughs> started the water, Alyssa was like, oh my gosh, I forgot the most important part, the bacon. <laughs> At the beginning, we're already forgetting things. This might be a tragedy. So we like to do our bacon in the oven because it gets it nice and crisp. And so we bought some thick cut bacon yes. and uh, it's ready to go on in. We got the pot of water on to boil. Time to grate the cheese. If you've ever wondered what two pounds of grated cheese looks like, there it is. So now it's Alyssa's turn. She's taking a, uh, I'd say a stab let's, at Colby. Let's see if I can do this. Look at the concentration, people. Let's check up on our water. It is heating up, as you can tell, because it's 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 steaming. And if you didn't know, that means that water is getting hot. 
Science lessons, guys. It has been a few minutes. The water is pretty much boiling. We are going to start making our sauce here in this pan. The bacon is coming right along in there. And Garrett is over here just grating away. Am I doing a great job? You're doing a great job. Is my joke too cheesy? Pasta is in. I just wanted to add that um, it does call for a pound of pasta, which is 16 ounces if you didn't know. This is only a 12 ounce box. So I added in a few of these little uh, noodles here that we just had. I mean, noodles are noodles, right? Cheesy noodles are just gonna be delicious regardless. What's going on with you, Garrett? I'm gonna start the roux. Okay. So a roux is essentially, um, from what I understand, um, from all my time on Food Network, <laughs> By on Food Network, I mean watching Food Network. <laughs> um, it's essentially uh, flour and butter, and uh, it, it, it's like how you create a like a sauce. Yeah. Base of a sauce. Half a stick of butter goes in. We're taking a third cup of flour, and we are slowly adding it into the butter while whisking to create a roux. Still mixing the pasta. Garrett's over here making his roux. I'm not sure if it really looks correct, but. After you add all of the flour, you then have to add four cups of whole milk and continue to whisk. So that is what Garrett is currently doing. So in here you need half stick of butter, four cups of milk, and one third cup of flour. Bacon is actually probably ready to take out. So we'll take out the bacon. The bacon is out and it looks amazing. So we're just gonna kind of let that cool off. Hello. Alyssa with all the Welcome vital to the kitchen. <laughs> ingredients of cooking. Vino. Vino. And pasta. I don't also, think. Also, did you see that my wine glass says, I need a fast pasta Friday? Amen. I got this as a birthday gift for my friend Corinne. So Corinne, if you are watching this for some reason, thank you. The roux is coming along. The pasta is almost ready to be cooked. Actually, we could probably take that out. All right, pasta is done. What happens next after we drain the pasta? What happens next? Good question. Let's find out. I did butter the casserole dish that will be going in the oven. Okay, so we kind of screwed up a little bit. I feel like we made, <laughs> we had too small of a pan to start with for the roux. So we moved it to the bigger pan that we were just cooking the pasta in and we still have to add some cheese to this. So we're waiting for the roux to be ready and then we can finish putting the casserole together. The roux is off the heat, and I'm gonna do a cup of cheese. <laughs> this is one of the cheeses. And then I'm going to mix, mix it, it all together. together. Mm -hmm. For basically everything on this re recipe, they said don't be stingy on the salt. So we are trying to add a decent amount of salt. I feel like there's a lot of cheese though, so I can't expect it that, that it's going to be not salty enough. But you never know. Look at this cheesy goodness. <laughs> it does look actually really good. It's starting to actually look like what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel like we're a while there. We were like, uh, did we do this right? So now it is time to put it all together. First, we need a third of the cooked pasta on the bottom layer right here. And don't forget to butter your pan first. First layer. Now we need to add in cheese sauce and all the cheeses. All the cheeses. All the cheeses. All together. <laughs> it says to blend the cheeses, so. That's blending. Blending by putting them into a bowl and mixing it around. With my hands. Up next, it's time for the cheese sauce. Oh yeah, look at all that cheese sauce. Oh yeah, all right, that's probably good. Our cheese sauce is in. Oh, now we have to put a half of the blended cheeses together in there. And we gotta put bacon in there too. Take half the cheese and you just kinda cheese it on there. Kinda smoosh it around. Alyssa's finessing the, uh, the bacon. <laughs> As I'm also throwing bacon on the floor. All right, so the next layer is more noodles. The rest of the noodles, right? Yeah, rest of the noodles. I'm not really sure if we can say try this at home because this is family. hard. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard. 
You can tell that we don't have a cooking show. You can also tell that we don't do this very often because we're like, step by step, what do we do next? I do love cooking. Like, I really enjoy cooking. So, I will just say that we did switch up the arranging our casserole a little bit. It does say three layers, but we use the 13 by nine. It says you use a four quart pan. I don't know what a four quart pan is. <laughs> so we just used our biggest pan that we had. So we only did ended up doing two layers, but the top layer is just another layer of the cheese sauce, the shredded cheese. We obviously added a ton of bacon. And to top it all off, we have to add Parmesan cheese. So, I'm gonna top it off with some beautiful Parmesan cheese. Freshly grated, I must say. Very freshly grated, grated by Garrett over here. As I was grating it, I was like, man, something smells. It's cause the cheese, cause cheese is funky. <laughs> I'm sweaty, I always sweat when I cook. So I feel like it needs a little bit more Parmesan, so Garrett's just gonna sprinkle some extra Parmesan on there. For... So whenever we go to restaurants, and they ask you when to stop, the waiter has to stop. Alyssa won't tell them to stop. <laughs> I always and just tell them to keep putting Parmesan on there. And you're like, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. <laughs> that's probably great. As we went through half of the thing of cheese. <laughs> There's also four other oh. blocks of cheese in there. So what just happened? Just cheese went everywhere. Oh, Garrett, look at the mess we've made. This kitchen was so clean when we started, and now look at it. All right, so is this going in the oven? The last step is to put it in the oven for 30 minutes. Don't judge our disgusting oven that we probably need to clean. Oh, it's <laughs> All right, 30 minutes. Now we wait. A little longer than a few minutes later. It's been 30 glorious minutes. It has. So let's check on the mac and cheese and see how it be. Oh, oh. my gosh. Oh, yowza. It looks bowza. so cheesy. All right, so we are actually going to broil it for five minutes? Yeah, we typically broil like everything that we put in the oven for like five minutes just to get a little crispy on top. So we're going to do that, and then we'll show you what it looks like at the end. That looks intense. It is. Look intense. at it sizzling. You see all the layers? Look at all the grease from the cheese. Yeah, there's so much grease. It's actually kind of gross, but it's going to be delicious. It is the time of reckoning. It looks so good. It, it looks even look better good. than it did when it first came out. Oh my gosh. It's steamy. <laughs> We're going to sample. Why not? Is it going to be I mean, good? It, looks, it looks like what it looked like, I think. I know, it does. Even like the top being crispy, I think, really actually makes it look like Chef Art Smith's as well. Art Smith's. Chef Art Smith's. <laughs> Chef Art Smith's. That top layer is awesome. Yeah, the top layer is good. <laughs> the top layer is awesome. I feel like I don't taste any cheese. I will agree, don't skimp on the salt. <laughs> I don't think it needs salt though, do you? Maybe a little bit. I think it's pretty salty. Apparently, That's weird. Uh, okay, I think it's pretty salty. Garrett doesn't think there's enough salt, but typically I'm the one that adds salt, so that is very strange. <laughs> Guys, this literally just sums up everything that we make. <laughs> We're like, is it good? I don't know, could it be better? Yes. <laughs> it could always be better. And this is our first time making it. This is not technically like our favorite dish because we don't really... Nope. Everything that's our favorite was like too hard for us to make. That's how we are in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. So I think overall though, it was pretty good. This top part, the top like crispy part is like a game changer. That's delicious. That is the best part. Okay, the other problem too, the, uh, this might be part of the problem, is that <clears> I <throat> took a corner piece, whereas like you were drizzling and we put most of the cheese like the more middles. towards the middle. Yeah. So I wonder if when we take like a middle piece, it's gonna be like extra cheesy. Regardless, I think it's still pretty delicious. And, and if you're looking for some gourmet mac and cheese, like this is this is what you need to make in your life. Thank you guys for watching our Diz Giving video. I apologize, we are not <laughs> a food channel and this is probably a hot mess. <laughs> I mean, so, yeah. But it's that. okay, it's just a little bit different. We're getting into the holidays and you will see some more like different videos for the holidays. Yeah. You've gotten to see part of our place that we live, so this is exciting. 
But thank you guys for watching. Be sure to watch everyone else's Diz Giving videos. We will leave all of the other channels participating linked down below. I want to see someone make everything that everybody else makes <laughs> and just have like a feast. There are some amazing people on this collaboration, people that actually know how to bake and cook. Not so us. So be sure to watch all the other videos. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought about this type of video. Would you want to see more videos like this? But, or... but, but better? <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd want to do like, I feel like for Christmas, we could do like something like some Christmas see. I feel like desserts would be better. I think I could be better at desserts. Probably. Maybe. So like what we do here, uh, subscribe down below with a bell notification. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and, bail notification. and that's it. So see you later. Bye. <laughs> Have <laughs> bail. All right. Let's, let's try that let's again. again. Let's try it again. <laughs> I'm also a little out of breath from running around the kitchen. I was laughing so hard. Okay. We are coming at you. <laughs> With some mac and cheese, let's go. All right, it's time for some cheese. Not skim, not 2%, not 1%, skim. And then also it's we're gonna- not skim. <laughs> Subscribe for more videos about stuff and <laughs> This is going to be an excellent blooper reel, by the <laughs> yes, way. Yes, it's going to be really good. It's going to be really we good. We really actually do need to do the bloopers for this yeah. one. Um, okay, can anyways. you actually say that now over <clears throat> yeah. again? Thanks.